Tonight, representing all of our American athletes by carrying the stars and stripes during the closing ceremony. Boy, what an honor. Jesse's grandmother, who lives here in Arizona, had the chance to cheer Jesse on in South Korea. And now she's back home. Team 12's Rachel Cole watched the closing ceremony with her tonight. And Rachel, what was that like? Oh my gosh, you guys, such a cool moment for the whole family, but especially Grandma Betty, who got to see her beloved Jesse cross that finish line in person in South Korea. Take a look. Jesse yes! Diggins yes! to the line! Yes! And it is yes! Jesse Diggins Gold! delivering a landmark Gold! moment! It was just exciting. I mean, we were just nail biting, you know, come on, Jess, go, Jess, go, Jesse, go. And uh, then when she won, it was just incredible. Betty is proud of her 26-year-old gold medal granddaughter. There she is. There's Jesse. <laughs> Team USA nominating Jesse to be the flag bearer at the closing ceremony. All that glitters is gold. Jesse has gold in her cheeks, and she's golden girl. This is just such an honor, and we're just so thrilled for her. Jesse and teammate Keegan Randall winning the first ever Team USA gold medal for the cross country event. Betty in South Korea witnessing the historic moment. She's so gracious in her win. I mean, she's giving so much credit and deservedly to the coaches and the wax techs and they work so hard. The Olympian spends plenty of time training in her hometown of Afton, Minnesota, where Thelma's ice cream shop plans to name a flavor after the local favorite. Something about gold and diggings and digging in. Jesse's family enjoying every second of the historic South Korea trip and plans to be in Beijing in 2022. It's just been amazing. I was so glad I could be there. It was an amazing experience. It just was the highlight that I've ever had in my life so far. And Betty, of course, looking forward to Jesse's next Valley visit. She tells us that Jesse uses the desert terrain during the off season to train and can sometimes go on three hour runs. You guys not happening here, but way to go, Jesse. We're live in the Olympic zone for the last time. Rachel Cole, 12 News at 10. For now, Paul, we'll send it back to you.